Hello there all you tubies and tubeheads and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Now as you can see I'm sitting here in a rather nifty little truck. I've got a pint of Lord Payne's beer sitting on the side there and a thumbs up. This truck is by Ricky107 as you can see there, Rick107. And I met this guy on one of my live streams doing Conan Exiles and he told me he got this cool truck on the workshop. I wanted to check it out so here it is. This is awesome though. So. This isn't my video, this is just the start of it. I just wanted to showcase this for him because he asked me if I would. And to be honest, I get a lot of requests for those sort of things, but I hadn't seen it at the time. Once I saw this and I drove this, believe me, I had to show you. This is awesome. So look at it. What does it do? Well, it's got lights, of course. You can turn those on and off. Um, as you would expect, you've got independent on two and three. But when I press the one key, this is when the magic happens. Boom. Yes, let's see that again. There it is, the suspension raises, and this thing is a demon. Now I've turned this up to full. He did have it down a couple of notches on the engine, but I've turned it up to full. This thing can fly around. It drifts around corners like a dream. It is an awesome truck. It's very, very hard to turn it over, but it is good. I probably overpowered the engine just a little bit. I do think if I follow this round, there'll be a jump, and I really want to take it in this thing. I'm sure it's down here now. Let's get this at full throttle. So, line ourselves up. And let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yes, even landed it backwards. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's cool. I love this truck. And like I say, it doesn't go over very easy. Now, with the power turned up to full, you would think that it probably would, and that might be why you turned it down. It still kind of doesn't. Ooh. And they got through there, yeah, no problem. Oh, another little jump. Can I make this one? This one may be a little bit trickier because the car's almost as wide as the ramp. So let's see. Let's go. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Level it up. Oh, piece of cake. Missed the other ramp, but piece of cake. Through the trees. Yes, indeed. Now let's get on with what the video is about. Awesome truck, by the way. Ricky 107. Go check him out on the workshop. He's got some other cool designs. I think the Dukes of Hazard car and a couple of other things. Go check out his workshop, guys. It is awesome. I'm going to get over to where I was started nearly so I can show you what this video is all about. Where was I? I was somewhere over here, I'm pretty certain. I mean, so much fun driving this thing around. There you go. Over there. Now, as I approach, you can see there is a neon sign, and a neon sign says Flynn's. Now, Flynn's. For those of you that know, is the arcade in the Tron movies, particularly the 1982 Tron movie from Disney. Um, and this video is about Tron. Now I want to show you this little arcade first. It wasn't Flynn's originally, this was just a little arcade I was working on. And then when I decided to do the Tron video, I decided, let's pack it up behind it, I decided to make this. So, as you see on the back of my arcade, I have the Pac-Man and the Ghost there with a little power pill in the middle. And round the side here we have insert coin. So looking at the front then, Flynn's. Now that's how the sign looked round the front of the iconic building which I would have loved to have built as you see pictured here. Now as you can see it's pretty damn epic building and it's still there, it's a real building, it's been many things over the years including a restaurant I think and yeah that was the filming location for the film back in 1982. So pretty awesome stuff. As you can see I didn't build that because that would have been very complex but what I did build is a representation of a room within Flynn's so let's get back and show you what I've got. So I built the sign to give an impression of it and this can you can imagine could be one of the rooms inside so I've got the Tron game grid uh, floor going on here. We have a little sit on arcade machine. Oh, arcade machine here, which we can get on. It doesn't do anything, but it looks the part. There's speakers on there. Little bike racing game. We have another little one here with joysticks on. Uh, I, these were the closest I could get to the coin inserting uh, slots and maybe the coin rejection. Uh, this you could imagine would be maybe Star Wars or something like that. A little sit in cabinet. Oh, I squeeze out. One in my channel colours, SPX of specs. Yeah, don't know what the game is, but there you go. We've got the yellow one, I can imagine would probably be, who was that little guy around there? Hello Cuba, what are you doing here? Yep, it's Cuba, as you may have seen by the sign there. So a little, little arcade reference thrown in. Oh, hello. And I've got the Space Invader up there. And with this one, a little racing one, you can sit down on 
this stall here and he kind of puts his hands on the steering wheel there, let's zoom in and there you go, a little ducky sitting on the top there and a little seating area over here anywhere you like, you can sit anywhere you want now this is using quite a few mods, I'm not exactly sure what mods I am using so if I put this on the workshop you may need to try pretty much quite a lot of them I'll try to list the ones I've got uh, and then you can see so I can turn this on and off here which will turn the lights on there I can imagine you're turning the game on just my little pool game you've got a pool cue and balls referencing up there for the neon sign to show you this is the pool area uh, yeah so a little arcade pretty cool and this is just to give you a flavor of what this is about and what my vehicles are now if you watch my streams earlier in the week or last week you will have seen that I was working on one thing Hold on, I've just got to do this. Hold on a second. I can't, I can't resist it. Let's just get that. And I need that. And uh, let's go. Can you get it from here? Yeah, of course you can. Let's go over there. One of those, and we'll put that there, and then there. Delete that. There we go. Much better. <laughs> Let's colour it in. Uh, that's Q, uh, orange, orange frames, and of course we want the blue lenses. Now I'm not sure these are going to show up, but there you go, blue lenses. Eee, there he is. <laughs> Probably could have done those in uh, pipes, but anyway, let's get on. I digress. Let's move on. So there's Flynn's little representation of it, just to give you a taster, and. I shall bring in my first vehicle. Well, the first vehicle is the Tron bike. Uh, iconic, as you see, I've gone for a look which is kind of somewhere between the original and the one from the Tron Legacy movie. So it's neither of them, it's somewhere in between. You've got a little access panel here that can get you to one of the engines. Oh, it's gone onto a little, uh, little rock in motion there. Sort yourself out. There you go. Shut that again. And then sensors on the side, of course, which keep it upright. If I press that, it opens and you jump in here. You can't see where you are because you're on an invisible seat there and when you press one it shuts down and it is as simple as that then it's just a matter of driving this thing around. Let's just zoom out. Now it isn't as stable as the truck I've just been on but it is pretty cool nonetheless if you don't get it jammed to a tree. Okay so there it is it's the Tron bike. Pretty spiffing. I've got it in a few different colors. I'll probably upload maybe three different colours to the workshop. The classics, the blue, the yellow and the red maybe. Oh, I may do a white and an orange because you know channel colours and all that. But yeah, all pretty cool. Looks pretty smart. Doesn't exactly jump as well as I'd like it to. Maybe someone want to do an update on it. If you do update this and get it working better, of course, by all means do put that on the workshop. But please do state that it was my design that you tampered with and I am happy for you to do that. Okay, so there it is. That is my first build. That is the Tron bike. It is pretty awesome. Oh, we're back up here. This might be good for my second build, actually, to bring it in here. So, second build then. Tron bike's pretty cool. I might try and do something else with that. I wouldn't mind having a race with someone. Let's delete that. Now, if you watch my stream on Scrap Mechanic, you will have seen what I was building, and it was a tank. Now, as it started out, it didn't look that impressive by the time I finished the stream, but... This is the bad boy now. Let's uh, jump on top. Now, it kind of looks a little bit similar to what you would see in the movie. Again, it's a version, uh, my version of it, so it's kind of a rep representation of it, or an interpretation of it, let's say. And uh, yeah, it's all pretty cool. Now, to get in this thing, you go in through the back just here. Uh, and then once you are in, turning it with the A and the D key, uh, back with the S and forward with the W as you would imagine. Now it uses tank steering which will put the independent tracks on either side on when you press A and D and both of them on when you press W uh, or S. So you can steer the turret with one and two and you can take that both ways. It probably looks a bit silly if you go too far out and back round backwards because it's not really supposed to do that and it never did in the film. But the pivot point is about right, so you can take that both sides. It does have one other thing, however, as you can see down at the bottom, there is a switch on the uh, four key. Now, I'm going to go down here and off the end. It's not going to jump because it isn't very fast, so I don't imagine it will. And this thing, because it's low 
to the ground does kind of get stuck a little bit. But it does have a nifty little trick if I press the 4 key. I can do a little hovering motion which uses the um, little trick with the glitch suspension underneath and that keeps me upright. And then if I leave that on, I can kind of hover around. It's not the best uh, motion to travel in, it's not the best form of transport let's say, but it does work so you can kind of hover off the ground. Works better if you just drive it normally, but you get stuck on a rock or a hill or something like that, pressing the 4 key will usually get you back off again because like you see it just kind of hovers over those things and kind of glides down as well. <laughs> it's got rail units in it you see, so they keep it at an angle like that and it will just hover down and then land. So that kind of gets you out of trouble. If I press the 4 key again you'll see I'm, I'm back down to, to the ground, back to earth and I can just get stuck. But there you go, there's a prime example. So I'm quite stuck now, pressing 4, we'll raise it up and get me out. There you go, so that's how it does it and that's why I created that part to get me around the terrain. This was invented if you remember first built on a flat map and um, so that is why there you go again and there you go it gets you off so that is why I didn't have any hills to contend with once I brought it onto a terrain mode I realized that mm -mm, it wasn't going to work and it was going to get stuck so that's why I invented the hover mode for this all looks pretty cool I think you'll agree but it doesn't end here oh no we have something else to show you let me just jump out quickly and um, yeah, I'll leave him there. Now, there was two different types of the next build. One that works and one that doesn't. But when I say it doesn't, that doesn't not mean a bad thing because that's actually intentional. So I'm going to go with the one that doesn't first. Now, the one that doesn't is this one. This is Tron's... or Finn's... Flynn's, sorry. Um, Recognizer? That was what they were called, I believe. Yes, the Recognizers. And this is the one that's missing a leg. If you've watched the movie, you'll have seen it. Of course, it doesn't stay very upright because of that leg being missing. And that is all part of the plan. It doesn't work quite correctly. And that's, as you would imagine, it is broken. So it's not supposed to work correctly. However, you can attempt to fly it. And you do have like one key to go up, two key to bring it down. And you can steer it with the A and the D and you can kind of try and steer this thing around and go forward with the W and it does kind of fly but badly and it has no other sort of abilities than that that is it you can I think tilt it left and right slightly with the uh, 3 and 4 key if you get into a bit of trouble it isn't actually that bad I think you could potentially get this to go where you want it let's see if I can land it somewhere near the okay just to prove my point here but I think I can kind of do it it's not bad so there you go that is Flynn's recognize oh, next to Flynn there you go uh, not looking too good so what does one of these things look like when it's brand spanking new well I'm gonna show you let's delete that one and let's find the other one so what it looks like when it's brand spanking new is a little bit like this now to demonstrate this properly let's get this so it's off the floor let's raise it up a little bit and delete that it will hover where you put it you may remember my specs invader this was based on the concept of that only I wanted to make a recognizer from the Tron movie to tie in with this episode and that was a good base to do it so this is a kind of idea that I came up with now if you've watched the film you'll realize that this does have one little thing that it does and I tried to get this build to do it and it comes in handy I'll show you so jumping in this seat here again the control methods are the same only this one works properly so it's very easy to fly so W will send you forward one key will raise you in the air you will stop at whatever height the thrust runs out or you can slow yourself down with the two key and you can come back down if you hold on to the two key so that's how you do your up and your down motion turn in again with the a and the d key and w to take it forward as you would imagine so that's all pretty spiffy and it all works well and flies around now what else does it do well i'll show you if i zoom out as far as i can that's about as far as i can and then i press the now which key was it it must be the five key bam, bam. that happens now in the film he stomps on a tank I believe when he does that 
and uh, just crushes it. I wanted this to do it. Now you're probably wondering how these things look like they're not attached. They are attached, but you can just about see there is some um, little invisible blocks. There you go, you can see them there. Part of the dearth pack and they are holding those things on and it looks like there's gaps around. It all works pretty well. So five key again, we'll do that. Now you can notice I'm a little bit less stable now. That motion does send you off a bit. Nothing much I can do about that, but that's how that works. Now when it does that, your W key sends you in reverse. So it's kind of like a reverse mode. So W key sends you forward, but the thrusters are in the legs. So when you turn it around, you go back the other way. All pretty cool. And there it is, that is my recognizer. So this has been a very much Tron based vehicle. Thanks for Ricky07 for sending the uh, truck information to me because that is pretty awesome. Hope to see you guys in future streams. Hope you like this Tron based episode. If you want any of these designs, they will be available on the workshop for you to test out for yourself. And in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, why not spank the hell out of that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more retrospects. Until next time, see you soon and bye for now. Tree!